Hey there. A few months ago, I put out a video where I said, hey, I've got a new sponsor and here's a commercial, my first commercial sponsor. And I rolled this video about this lens protection device. Let's have a look at that video. Okay, all kidding aside, actually now I do have a sponsor for the channel and it has really helped out financially to grow this channel. So I'd like to show you a short message from the sponsor. Okay, I'm sorry, but I, I couldn't resist. Did, roll intro. <laughs> Hi everyone and welcome to pal to tech Today is going to be the start of a new tradition. From now on, each year I'm going to release a video between Black Friday and Cyber Monday that has my favorite items in it. Okay, they're going to be items that are focused on the working photographer, especially the Fujifilm mirrorless camera user, but I think that these things are actually so awesome that most of them could be used by anyone at any time. <coughs> Now, a couple of things before I get into the list here. These are the requirements that they have to have to be in this PAL Detect video each year. First of all, number one, I have to be using them every single day. Not once in a while, but every single day, constantly using them. Number two, no company, no outside company can sponsor a product ever on this annual Pal to Tech favorite tech items video. These are things that I'm gonna sponsor, okay? I'm just gonna say the things that I love. And number three, they must save me time or make my life a bit easier. And that's what awesome tech is all about. Okay, here we go. First item on the list is also one of the cheapest. This is the VKO soft metal release buttons for the Fujifilm X-T2 and X-T3. When you purchase an X-T2 or X-T3 right out of the gate, it looks like this. This is the shutter release button, okay, which is fine. The thing that I find is when I'm quickly grabbing the camera and I wanna grab a shot, sometimes my, my finger, the button doesn't quite feel like a button. What I do is I get these little VKO buttons, they're tiny, and you screw it on, you buy one. Now there's two kinds, there's concave and convex, is that, you know, the one where it's bowed and the ones where it's kind of round. You, you get two in a pack. When you're screwing these things on, you need to be careful because if you tighten them too tight, it's not good. But they just make it so nice to press the button. It's one more thing that just, it's a little bit easier. I love these things. You just have it on the camera. And if you have more than one camera, let's say you have two black X-T2s and one of them you have set up for video, the other one you have set up for stills, you can color coordinate them and immediately see which camera to use. So these are awesome. I use them on every camera I own. Can't recommend them enough. Okay, for the next item, let's talk lens caps. A little while ago, I lost the lens cap to my 16 to 55 Fujinon lens and I needed to get another one. And I was gonna get a Fuji brand lens cap plop it right on and be good to go. And I thought, well, wait a minute, maybe there's a third party solution that makes a good lens cap, not some cheapo thing that falls off and doesn't attach properly and doesn't seem like it fits right, but something that actually feels like it was made by Fuji and works really well. And I found that. The lens cap that I found is from Breakthrough Photography. It's about seven bucks. They have all different sizes. This is the 77 millimeter and man, it goes right on there. It's, you know, it's spring loaded and it's thick. It's thick and solid and it just, it goes right on there and this sucker's not coming off. I mean, this is great. It fits it like a glove. These are great lens caps. I use them every day. They're inexpensive. So if you're in the market and you need more lens caps or just something as a backup, definitely want to check out those lens caps from Breakthrough Photography. Okay, so the next item on my list actually has to do with computers and laptops. And it is a hard drive, particularly a portable hard drive. You know, I have been using hard drives since 
there, there weren't hard drives. I actually, no kidding, I used to have a TRS-80 Model 1 computer in 1979 that I programmed on, and it stored all of the data and the programs on actual audio cassette tape. I mean, that was so ahead of its time back then. So when hard drives came out, Oh, they were awesome. And I mean, I gotta tell you, this is the single best portable drive I, I think you can get. This is the Samsung T5 portable SSD. SSD standing for solid state drive, meaning that it has no moving parts. You can bump it around, throw it in your bag. It's light as a feather. They make these little guys in 500 gigs, one terabyte and two terabyte versions. I have a few of the one terabyte and two terabyte versions and I edit on them. One thing I would recommend getting is a case for it. And I'll have a link below to that. So I have this little case and it's great. You know, the drive kind of sits right in here and then you put the cord right in there. You know, you can zip it up and you're good to go. Solid, great solution for a portable SSD. Okay, so my next item is also computer laptop related, and it's something that has really boosted my productivity since I got it. And it has to do with the single most important thing to a photographer there is light. Even more important than making beautiful photos, light is so wonderful for you to be productive. Having good light, it, it wakes you up, it makes you feel more awake, you can just get things done. It makes you work faster. This is the BenQ Screen Bar Plus, okay? And what it does, you know what, let me just go show you right now. Okay, so here we are. I have the light on the monitor right here, and it is on there pretty solid, but it's also really easy to take off. Boom, comes right off like this. It's got sort of this counterweight on the back, and so it can fit on pretty much any monitor depending upon how wide it is. So you just, boom, put it on just like that. There it is. And what's great is there's two different versions of this. One has the on off switch and the controller right up here. The other one, the better one that I think if you're gonna get one, you should get, it has a little controller that sort of sits on your desk right here, off, on, just like that, really cool. Do you see the glare in the monitor, right? Is that distracting? No, it's not, because it's angled perfectly. The way that they did that, the light comes down just like this, and it's perfect. It just lights up the area. So, you know, if you have paperwork, and you've got to, you know, kind of get some bills done, and you just, it, I, it just helps so much to have that extra light with your computer in front of you. And here's the thing, check it out. Does it work on a laptop? Yes, it does. So if you have your laptop with you, say, you just throw it on here, right? Boom, there it is, right? And now you have a light solution, a mobile light solution that you can take with you. I think it works better though on a desktop monitor, you know, but uh, in terms of just, it sits there and you're done and awesome. Now, it's got this really cool little controller and what you can do, obviously you can change how bright it is, turn it by turning the knob, simple. The other thing that you can do is change the color temperature. So here we go. You know, you get like coffee shop and then you get, you know, daylight color temperature, so that's great. And then there's one other feature, I don't use it a whole lot, but it, it has it, and it's got a sensor right here, and you press this right here, and what happens is this sensor senses the room lighting and it will adjust this light to match your room lighting so that everything is in balance. And there's something to be said for having light for your productivity, it boosts your productivity. This is not the cheapest light you can get, for sure. So I love it, wanted to recommend it to you. That's the, I don't even know what it's called, the, the light that hangs on the monitor thing. Anyway, I'll have a link below. Back to the studio. Number five on my list is one of my favorites also. Look, look at this, okay? I like to be organized. Getting a bit more organized really does help the creative process because you feel more in control of things. And so I like to label things, but I also like to keep my cords, my you know wires and stuff like that, organized and I have found an 
awesome, awesome little tool to help with that. Think Tank Photo Red Whips. <laughs> These are, they're kind of a, they're kind of a splurge, all right? They're, they're a little bit of a splurge. You take a cord and you kind of, you know, you, it just keeps things organized. Okay, so it has this thing you little press down like that and it's just nice and solid. You go whoosh and it's just organized. Boom, done in your bag. You can put a few cords together. You can wrap a cord next to a power Power brick like wrap it around there and then put the whole thing around a red whip love these things love these things one of my biggest pet peeves is when tripod makers you know the thing that attaches the camera to the tripod that they don't have a way to to just unscrew it with your fingers you know that little thing that flips out and then you can un unscrew it and take it off there are some tripod mounts that don't have that and they expect everybody to just you know walk around with a coin in their pocket which i always lose or a screwdriver a big long screwdriver which can break the screw sometimes so for example so i have this ronin this dji ronin sc gimbal and it attaches to the camera with not one but two of these things so you have you know two screws right here and then you've got this thing that it screws into in the back and then this whole contraption goes to the bottom of this camera which then it goes on the gimbal and blah 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 blah. Hey, by the way if you want to see a video about using the Fujifilm X-T3 with the Ronin let me know in the comments below I'd love to show you anyway so you have this thing and what I what has happened is like when I go to screw it on I grab a screwdriver because I've lost my coin my penny or whatever I grab a screwdriver and I go to do it and either the screwdriver head is too fat and it doesn't fit in the thing right Right? or I, I, it's too kind of thin and I'm turning it and I start to bend and, and screw up the screw. So this little awesome thing right here is called a small rig tool kit, tool screwdriver set. I, I don't know the exact name, I'll have a link below. Anyway, it's got a little set of all of those little tools that photographers and videographers need when they're putting, you know, camera cages on, gimbals, tripod stuff. So right, and speaking of which, it's got a screwdriver. Check this out. It's nice and thin and it just feels great when you're when you're doing it and it's got every possible thing Phillips head Allen wrench all all kinds of stuff just in a nice little thing goes right in the bag you're set no more losing pennies no more you know trying to find a screwdriver that that fit it's awesome so the next item I use to really save me time it let me just show you so it's this thing right here. It is a little remote control light controller, little light controller that you can use to turn on and off lights. Watch this, like this, on and turn them off. Now, I love this thing and I'll tell you why I love it. I know there's a lot of remote control turn on and off lights. You know, there's even the clap on, you know, that thing, the, the clapper. It's fast to set up. You take it out of the box, you plug it in. You don't have any of that monkey business trying to get Bluetooth this. I hate that stuff. It's such a pain in the butt. It gives me a headache. Instead of having one button, you know, where you have to like, you know, hold it long to turn it off and hold it. I hate all that. I can't stand that. I like stuff that's simple to use. And you have a set of buttons to turn it on and you have a set of buttons to turn it off and they're labeled one, two, and three. I I don't have to think it's simple. Okay, so I have to mention the final item on this list, which is a lens. <laughs> this is the Viltrox 85 millimeter. I am going to be doing a full review on this lens. I'm working on it right now. I've, I'm in the middle of shooting test shots. I'm, I'm the whole bit. And I'm about ready to launch that video. However, I've noticed some really good deals on this lens between today and Cyber Monday. So I wanted to mention it for those of you that might be thinking about the Viltrox. You might um, have hat been on the fence about getting this thing. Well, be on the fence no more. I love this lens. Okay, there, you don't even need to see the review. <laughs> no, watch the review, it'll be good. <sighs> well, I got through it. I hope you like that. That's, that's my list for 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and they are some really awesome products, I think, and I use them every single day. So I hope they can help you out as well. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you're not yet a subscriber, I would love to have you as one. You know, it's funny. 
I've been noticing like some people that subscribe, I will click over to their channel and I'll look and oh my God, they've got like a billion videos, thousands and thousands of subscribers. And I'm like, well, why are they subscribing to me? You know, that's like, I'm just like, what, really? Thank you so much for subscribing. It means a lot to me. It's kind of like a little way of saying, you know, you're, you're on the right track. Keep doing better, keep doing better. Anyway, thanks again. And I will see you in a video real soon. Take care, have a great weekend. And so long. Oh man. Oh, man. Uh. Okay. All right. Since you stuck around, I, I, I gotta ask a favor of you, okay? I'm watching the raw footage that I shot of myself going through that computer light that I was demoing. And I've gained some weight. I've gained a few pounds. Check this out. Look at this. You see this? You see this? <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta tell me these things. You gotta tell me these things. So I gotta go on like, I gotta eat better. I gotta change my diet a little bit. I want you to hold me to that. If you're not seeing me start to kind of lose that double chin thing, uh, you call me out on it. You tell me in the comments. I'm serious. I need to get this under control. I'm embarrassed by this. I'm so embarrassed. I, I, I was thinking about not even putting this in the video in you know the final version, but you know, okay, I gotta own it. Sometimes you get busy in life, you just, you're not thinking, you don't have time to work out, and you're, anyway, excuses, excuses. So, um, I'm just telling you that uh, I noticed that, and um, please, please call me out on it if you see me start to balloon up like that. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. So, anyway, I gotta work on that. It's tough. It's hard. It's hard. Speaking of working, and that's another thing. Speaking of working, um, if you're a subscriber and if you're following this channel and if you're giving me the gift of your time, then if I'm not working hard enough, if you find that these videos are, you know, I'm, I'm kind of cutting corners and I'm not putting 100% into, you let me know, okay? You tell me, if, if I'm not working harder, you tell me and I will work harder. You just say, hey, Chris, you're not, you know what? You're kind of slipping lately. You're not working hard enough. You, you, you gotta work harder and I will work harder on it, okay? You, that's my promise to you. I do love these red whips though. <laughs> All right, uh, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I'm gonna go spend the weekend with my family, maybe decorate for the holidays. Yeah. All right, thank you. Mean it, seriously. See you soon. <laughs>